Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. This prophetic word title says, Don't miss this person coming to your house. Hallelujah. Don't miss this particular person coming to your house. He has a package, a gift for you in Jesus' name. The Bible said this is a day the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. And this prophetic word for today, hallelujah, is one of the things that God has prepared on this faithful day to give you reason to laugh. Genesis 21 verse 6. And Sarah said, God has finally made me laugh. This is a woman that waited for God. And finally God made her laugh. I pray that wherever you're watching or connecting, at the end of this prophetic word title, my God will give you reason to laugh in the name of Jesus. This prophetic title says, Don't miss, praise Master Jesus, this person coming to your house. He has a package for you. If you're seeing me for your very first time, the Lord bless you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. In the name of Jesus. This is Prophetic Blessings, a platform where we receive God's word. I believe together as a family, the Bible says in the book of Matthew 7, 7, Ask, and it shall be given. Seek, you shall find knock, and the door shall be opened. Together, if we ask, God will give. Seek, we will find knock, and the door shall be opened. Click the subscription button. By so doing, the God that reward men in secret will reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. I use this medium opportunity one more to thank all the subscribers and everyone for your love, for your support, for everything. And the Lord bless you all family for in Jesus' mighty name. This particular prophetic word is coming to someone as a confirmation who was about to give up. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This particular person, you had a dream. You had a dream whereby you were going somewhere, you were traveling, traveling, traveling at the point of which like you miss your way. Hallelujah. Where, where, where and what you were going to look for, you could not find it. But you wasted your time, your years, your money and everything. I had a revolution where I saw someone traveling. Like you travel, you have been keeping, like you have been walking, walking upon walking, following the wrong direction. But yet you have not gotten what you needed. So I heard the Lord saying, I heard the Lord saying, you should not miss this particular person that is coming your way. Living a life without Jesus is like a journey without destination. Praise Master Jesus. I saw your location being found. I saw that particular thing where you have been looking for being exposed. I want to come in agreement with somebody. A messenger is coming your way. And that messenger will not miss their way. When we look in the book of Genesis, a very popular story, how God rewarded the father of all nations and the mother of all nations, Abraham and Sarah. When the right time came, the Bible said God sent angel. The angel never came in, in front uh, with wings, wearing white clothes as today. The angel came in form of a man like me. So one thing I tell people whenever you see a man of God, whosoever, that is interpreting the Bible, Hallelujah. We should be very careful the way we judge them. Because some of us, we size men of God, we size people, not knowing that even the beggar in front of you might be your destiny helper. The Bible says Abraham was sitting in the cold day. He was wondering, asking himself, so God filled, so God's word has fallen on the ground, but not knowing that that, that very faithful day, even with the depressed, even with the anger and everything, when he saw the three men, the Bible says he saw the three men. The three men walked to Abraham, asking for water. Will you still be kind and good to people? At When you're passing through such a difficult moment, Abraham, he was so, so good. The Bible says he ran, he rushed, asked the wife, give them some water. Not only water, make them something to eat. That is a duty of a man and a responsibility. He placed his, law, his rules, his right as a man. He said, feed them, let them eat. If Abraham could have told them, God, there is no water, that I'm having my problem. Never you take your personal problem and put it on people that you meet on their way. Because the devil might use your anger or something just to block your blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus. This particular story of Abraham 
is teaching us to let us know that no matter how you have been waiting on God, let your covenant with God not be not become a covenant with, with other people. Let your personal problem with God not become a problem with other people. Though you are waiting on God, you're angry. No matter what, how you feel, don't prolong it to people. Praise Master Jesus. We learned something. So now what are you expecting? There are people watching me. Some will say, Pastor, I'm expecting a job. Pastor, I'm expecting the testimony. Pastor, I'm expecting this. Yes, what you're expecting is good. But right now, check yourself. If that thing is coming through a poor man, are you sure you will receive it? I know you are believing something that can only come from a plane. But listen to me, a bicycle can still carry it. If you see see somebody coming with a, on a bicycle, can you be able to receive that same thing? I watched a movie whereby a young girl, a, 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 a young man was about to marry to a young girl. This guy had to this guy dress as a poor man just to see if the girl is serious. Praise Master Jesus. But this young girl neglected the guy, not knowing that this guy was a very rich guy. Praise Master Jesus. But the guy was just disguising. I pray for someone, wheresoever you are watching or connecting, in the name of Jesus. What are your expectations? The Bible tells me that the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. short. You are expecting something. I pray through this particular prophetic word, what you have been believing God, may you receive it. Abraham expect and believe God for the fruit of the womb. He waited on God. God wiped his, his tear. In which area have you been crying? Is it the fruit of the womb? Is it the marriage? Is it that opportunity? Is it the money, the job? Wipe your tears. This word is coming to you as a form of restoration. The Bible speaks in the book of Jude, I will restore to you the years. Let everything that you have been waiting be restored. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Please make sure this word will go a long way to put a smile on the face of someone somewhere that is crying and passing through hell. So let's show love as we click the share button. May the Lord bless your family. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.